Good evening everybody and welcome to this unboxing of Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team Rogue Trader which I see is a Kill Team expansion and not an entire game which I actually thought it was but yeah let's have a little look on the sides we'll try and get this in shot here a little bit of writing some uh, pictures here oh we've got a bit of wobble going on let's try and kill that wobble some people this I believe is the rogue trader and her best friend Mr Three Eyes or not as the case may be the other side however is orange I quite like this orange colour although on my camera it looks a little bit more red but uh, we'll have a look on the back here and oh I have to say this is quite a weighty tone which isn't what I expected I expect it to be quite light but yeah, we've got some pictures of a Grummix, a eye stinger swarm. However, I feel that should just be an eye stinger because I think a swarm has more than one. Uh, the Vulga, the thrice cursed, he does have three heads that he's cursed with. And Elucia Vane, the rogue trader, with her wedding veil on. Does the uh, narrative of this game happen during her wedding? I don't know. Boydsman Shalkus, I like this chap, and Nosso Prond the uh, assassin. Lucia Vane herself is looking very happy over here with her wedding veil and uh, what looks to be one of those things you turn inside out that would bounce up off the, off the screen, off the table. So yeah the artwork is quite nice. It's a very dark picture I must say. I expect it to be a bit lighter. But there we go that's fine. Some sort of plasma coil here. We see a gentleman dispatching this large gut faced man this would be uh, one of the voidsmen, Lucia Vane, whatever her name is, in her wedding veil. And um, Nosso Prond over there, we'll make sure we know the names. Okay, let's open this up. Now, this has got one of, oh, I have to say, it doesn't have our favorite cling film, or what's it called? Vac wrap, or whatever you want to call it. It hasn't got that on it, which I always enjoy taking off. Never mind, let's drag this out. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, oh, it's tight, it's tight. There we go, there we go. It looks like quite a full box. So we shall start with this. It appears to be a scenery set, which will be good because I'm making some scenery. We have a nice uh, throne here. We'll move that over. Uh, second up, we have the green stuff. This I assume is the Nurgle things. We'll come back to these screws in a minute. Another scenery set for another throne. A set of, is this it? Is this all the Imperial stuff on one little sprue? That is impressive. So yeah, and that is uh, the Imperial stuff. A Kill Team Rogue Trader tactics cards. Um, what would this be? These are Rogue Trader data sheet, data sheet cards. Not what I was going to say. <laughs> a box of a box, a bag of 32 mil bases, no, 40 mil bases, 25 mil bases. These do still exist by the things. Ah, another poster. We're getting a few of these, and on the other side is just kill team. Where would you put this? You might perhaps hang this on your wall, you know, and look really cool. We might do that later. I might put that on the wall with my Adeptus Titanicus poster, so uh, look out for that. A bag of books. Look at the snazzy. Um, what appear to be tiles, and who's that ravishing gentleman there? We see in a reflection. Yeah, tiles. And what appear to be tokens, everyone's favourites. And that is it. Nothing else in there, is there? Nope, that's it. So let's have a look at all the parts individually. Let's start with this token sheet. If I can get it out, here we go, here comes a clean film. Oh, oh, oh. 
Are they the same? No, they're different. So we go, oh god, I nearly lost one already. Two sheets of tokens there. Let me turn these to face the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unless you don't know how to count, it would be four, one, five, two, six, three. Which is my bank pin number, so don't remember that. Um, pictures of rogue traders in wedding veils. Look like some sort of targeting system, perhaps. These look like HQ counters of a sort. I don't know, we'd have to read the rules, but two token sheets. 25 millimeter bases. Um, not a lot to say about those, chuck those away immediately. Oh, 40 millimeter bases, are these 40s or 32s? I really don't know, What's that noise. Oh, who is that lovely man? Um, cling film again, my favorite. God, so tight, oh, so tight. These are the game, this is the game board, I should say, not these are the game board. Shrink wrap, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, get rid of that. Okay, so we have the, oh, it's fold up. Fold up game board. I'm gonna try and do this in a way. Oh dear, we may have an accident. What is going on here? There we go, it's just about fit on my table. Now you can't see that I imagine because it's so big. Oh, but that is about two feet by one and a half feet perhaps this board. We could measure it, let's, let's measure it. Because people love, I have my trusty measuring stick here. Let's have a look at how big this is. Oh, see this. 24 inches and it is another six on there. So it's two and a half foot by, that's an odd size, 22 and a third inches. Probably makes more sense in centimeters. 57 centimeters by uh, 60 and the rest, 66 by 57 I would say. Well done Mr. Ruler. And um, one thing I have to note is that on one side is the interior of the spaceship and the other side, which is better in my opinion, is this skull based um, adventure board, I should say, of some sort. We have some detail of an engine over here. There's a few of those engines. Nothing on there sticks out. There's like a sneak peek at something we haven't seen before. So yeah. No little Easter eggs on there, I'm afraid. Then we have the, um, the joy. I'm trying, oh, I thought that was gonna be hard. Oh, to fold that up, but it wasn't. So there you go, it's quite a thick oh, piece. The associated, the associated uh, pamphlets and rules and uh, shiny shrink wrap. Let's open the shrink wrap up. Cool. What have we got in here? Shrink wrap. Today, we have the thick uh, skirmish in the red. Is this the rules? I think so. This is the expansion rule set for Rogue Trader. So uh, we'll do a separate video on this book. Lovely artwork in here. And uh, to reach for paradise. Very interesting. Plague Wars, how to set up some missions. There's Alicia Vane herself, very elusive. She's very vain, and she got the name Alicia Vane, I feel. Maybe, maybe they named it after someone in the office who they felt was elusive and vain. If you have any ideas, please let us know. That was the rule book. And then we have, oh, the mini codexes. This is the uh, Eleus Eleusidian Star Striders. Picture of uh, the local louts on the back there, on their way to the pub, I would imagine. We'll have a flip through here. These need their own separate videos. Same piece of artwork. Recycled art, I think that's called. Uh, various people. There's our assassin friend, not so prompt, not so proud. As it will know, and the dog. Probably the most famous part of this box set, I would imagine. So we'll have a look at that in a separate video. Next up, Galapox Infected Codex. 
they are infected with gallipox, unfortunately. They will have to be sorted out. This is uh, their codex. We have the rules for each individual unit in here. Mutants, glitchlings, nightmare hulks, mutoid vermin, some stratagems, and um, grey knights and great unclean ones who I don't feel are in this box set. That's some artwork of them interacting with said units. And there's that. No, there isn't. That's an interesting lighting effect there. And, uh, oh, what's this? This is nice. A full colour instruction manual. We'll have a look through here. This is really nice. I like a full colour. Here's how to do the dog. The most important part. He comes three stages. You stick his body together, put him on the base, and that is done. There's no messing about for months trying to get your dog together. Two bits and a base, and that is it. And the fly, where's the flies? A squid, looks like becomes his arm. Stick the squid on him and he's done. These are lovely models, I have to say. This is the best bit, eye stinger swarms. Um, they are apple flies, eye stingers. Get it? Probably not. Oh, mustn't forget the sludge grubs. I think I had some of those for my lunch the other day, very tasty. And uh, an interesting piece of art, which looks like the uh, Rogue Trader's house art, perhaps, and goop. Next up, we have what I always wanted, the fold-out 40k rules. Now, I never got these as I bought the 40k rule book, but I actually always wanted these so I didn't have to lug that rule book away. So this is probably worth the asking price alone for me. But yeah, it's happy. I'm happy to announce that you get us get a copy of these fold out rules. We all know these rules. It's nice to know you get another set of these in the box. Next up, we have the data sheet cards. Let's have a little look at those. We'll keep the, the, the plastic bag handy. So these are all a, uh, what is this? A Lucia Vane points. Doesn't say anything about points there. Flesh wounds, minor energy injuries. So these look like cards you'd use to play the game. I don't know the rules. So I'm just gonna guess that you perhaps write things on these. I don't know. Actually, there's the dog's card. Again, abilities, loyal retainer. Very important ability, that is. Um, all have the same piece of art. Oh, no, I tell a lie. We have the evil team's artwork on there. And their card is the Writher. He has a horrific visage. He's probably been to Great Yarmouth. Anyone who knows that place knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I'll we'll try and get these back in the bag. A great suffering and effort. There we go. I feel like a professional card dealer now. It's still sticky. Sell it on, no one will ever know. The tactics cards. Let's uh, get these out. We'll give you an example of one of the tactics. Now, if we're lucky, we can get the dog. They all have different pictures, and I'm going to guess that, that one there is the dog. And it is. No, it's not the dog. Combat medicine. Using this tactic after using. Sanastasia Minced Healing Serum ability, whether or not it's successful, you can immediately use that ability for a second time this phase, either on a different model or the same model again. The one command point. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea. Lucky, we can get these back in the bag. Come on. <laughs> Super. Now we have what everyone has been waiting for. The single sprue of the Imperial Rogue Trader team. Now I have to say the sculpting is very good on here. The detail on these um, Tesla coily type things is very good. And I exceptionally like this rotor cannon detail here. Very nice indeed. These are some of the best sculpts I think I've seen in a long time. Look at the detail on, I think, is the medic's coat there. These are very good. Where's the dog? This is missing, but there he is. Look how thin his legs are. 
I'm going to have to be extra careful when we cut him out and build him up. Don't know what that is there. I'm going to have to be rude and say that looks like three anal passages connected to a centerpiece. Whatever is that? Maybe if we flip it over. What's her hair? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we could call her something regarding passages and her head. And then uh, that might give her a new nickname. <laughs> I can't believe that. And this chap here is standing on something. Looks like Slimer out of Ghostbusters. There we go. But this is an exquisite sprue. Small, out of focus, but exquisite. Very good. Very look, very much looking forward to uh, building these. I always wondered what these little marks here on the sprue meant. It like something to do in manufacturing. I wonder if it's like how many times they've run the punch and die. But, you know, they would know. I don't. But maybe every... 100 runs, they mark it every time they've done a tool clean. We have the scenery sprue. We've got two of these. We have a treasure chest looking here. Two doors, other doors the same. No, just two doors and what appear to be bulkheads. Another treasure chest. I'm not sure what these are. These look like the doors to these escape pod like looking thing. Yeah, they're escape pods, so they're quite cool. We get a couple of escape pods. These will make wonderful and fantastic objective markers. Fantastic scenery here. My scenery project, which is coming up. And the command throne, which is also very good. You can never have enough command thrones, in my opinion. But these doors, they are fantastic sculpts. Now we do have another of those sprues, but we've already seen that. And uh, I must say, the effort and quality and detail in these is fantastic. Last but not least, we have the plague sprue so let's have a little look on here we have the small boys which i like the look of i've been painting a few of these there's not as much in this set as i thought which is good it, i don't feel overwhelmed by the amount that i have to paint which is good but a little fly i like all these little flies i'm not sure what that is i think that's a flea you can see his bum crack so i like that one already uh, there's mr gut face and a swarm of flies over here. This will be good for uh, practicing some painting skills on, I feel. And a head. This is possibly my favorite part of the sprue. Can we see this head? Can we focus? There we go. There's the head. So yeah, there you have it. That is everything in Rogue Trader. I think it's a very nice set for the money. And uh, I think these are some of the best sculpts I've seen in a long long time i think maybe this mono pose is really kind of a good thing so i think the sculptures can get a better pose more dynamic pose from a mono pose kit than a varied uh, multi pose dynamic kit which just looks a bit clunky in the long run as long as they give you a few options you're fine i think it's good so there you have it this is a uh, kill team rogue trader brilliant i'm going to give this an eight or a nine out of 10, I feel. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos. We also have a Patreon page, an Instagram page, a Twitter page, and a Facebook page for you to come and watch also. See you soon. Bye-bye.